Vertical farming technology is the current advanced stage of development of facility agriculture and an important area of cutting-edge scientific and technological exploration in the world's agriculture. On December 3, 2023, the first unmanned vertical plant factory independently developed by the Institute of Urban Agriculture of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences was put into use in Chengdu, Sichuan. The research team of the Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences took the lead in creating plant light formulas and theoretical methods for improving light efficiency, overcoming the worldwide problem of low light efficiency and high energy consumption in plant factories. The 20-story vertical unmanned plant factory currently constructed is the first of its kind in the world. This vertical plant factory achieves stable production in a vertical space by adopting independently cultivated new crop varieties, a vertical three-dimensional cultivation system, an automatic nutrient solution supply system, artificial simulated energy-saving light sources, and an AI-based intelligent management and control system. Not affected by climate and region, a crop of lettuce can be harvested in 35 days under environmentally controlled conditions. In addition to lettuce, other leafy vegetables, fruit vegetables, and edible fungi can be produced on a large scale in vertical plant factories. After years of research, the innovation team has taken the lead in the world in analyzing the key technologies for rapid crop breeding through light temperature nutrition coupled regulation. This technology is not restricted by land, space, and climate conditions, and configures the spectrum it needs based on plant growth characteristics. It uses hydroponics or aerosol culture to allow plants to absorb nutrients. In addition, through precise control of light and nutrition, it induces early flowering and promotes rapid growth of crops, significantly shortening the crop growth cycle. This provides theoretical verification and technical reserves for unmanned vertical plant factories to accelerate crop breeding, according to Yang Chichang. Chief Scientist of the Intelligent Gardening Equipment Innovation Team of the Institute of Urban Agriculture, Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences, the growth period of crops can be shortened from the original 120 days to 50 to 60 days, and breeding efficiency can be greatly improved. At present, the scientific research team has compiled a database of 72 types of crops and more than 1,300 light formulas, which plays an important role in basic crop research and physiological research. The test results show that the nutritional content of crops produced in vertical plant factories is basically the same as that of field crops. Plant factory is a method of planting crops on soilless cultivation or artificial culture media, achieving high yield and efficient crop production through artificial environmental control. Vertical farming is a method of growing crops in vertical space, usually used in cities or areas with limited land resources. Vertical agriculture is not affected by climate, season, location and geographical conditions, does not require the use of farmland, has high space utilization, and can produce vegetables and fruits 365 days a year. It is regarded as an important solution to ensure the supply of future agriculture. Compared with traditional field agriculture, the types of crops in vertical agriculture are relatively limited. Under the current model, in most cases it is only suitable for planting dwarf, short-cycle leafy vegetables, medicinal plants and other high-value added cash crops and high-value added vegetables. The United Nations World Population Trends Report predicts that the global population will reach 9.8 billion by 2050. 
The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that food production must double by 2050 to keep up with population growth. However, over the past 50 years, the amount of agricultural land has remained stable, accounting for approximately 37% of total available land. This number is also not expected to change significantly in the coming period. In addition, crop yield and quality have been severely affected by climate change, natural disasters and environmental pollution, increasing agricultural losses. For example, the long-lasting La Nina phenomenon has led to frequent droughts in the United States, which can lead to serious declines in wheat yield and quality. The United States is one of the world's largest wheat exporters. In 2021, the United States wheat production accounted for 5.8% of the world's total, and its exports accounted for 10.9% of the world's total wheat exports. The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has also exacerbated the global food crisis. The Cidic Futures Research Institute report pointed out that Russia and Ukraine play an important role in global food production and supply. In 2021, Russia and Ukraine's wheat production totaled 108 million tons, accounting for 5.7% of the world, and exports were 53 million tons, accounting for 26.1% of the world. In addition, Russia and Ukraine are responsible for 18.7% of the world's corn imports, so changes in the situation in Russia and Ukraine have a greater impact on global grain supply and demand. In this context, whether limited arable land can meet food supply is an important issue that needs to be resolved urgently. Many countries have placed food security as a ballast. Vertical farming has become an important way to innovatively solve problems due to its great advantage of being unaffected by climate, weather, seasonal and geographical conditions and cultivating crops 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Prior to this, China had successfully grown rice in indoor vertical farms. In 2021, the Plant Factory Innovation Team of the Institute of Urban Agriculture, Chinese Academy of Agricultural Sciences, collaborated with the Qian Qian team of the China Rice Research Institute to successfully achieve an important breakthrough in harvesting rice in about 60 days in a plant factory environment. It will be more than 120 days in a traditional field environment the rice growth cycle is shortened by half. Plant factories can not only shorten the rice growth cycle and increase yields, but are also excellent crop breeding accelerators. It is not restricted by land, space, and climate conditions, and can be used for additional breeding all year round, which will greatly save breeders' time. Yang Chichang introduced that in the future, this plant factory rice breeding accelerator is expected to achieve a rapid breeding of more than six crops per year, and the number of cultivation layers can even reach more than ten. In Singapore, surrounded by the sea, with a small area and extremely scarce fresh water resources, vertical farming is one of the important planting methods. Singapore strives to apply the vertical planting model to urban agriculture, relying on vertical farms in buildings to become a garden city with 50% green space coverage. In February 2022, Singapore also successfully experimented with growing rice in vertical farms, breaking through the limitation that vertical farms cannot grow staple foods. This project is a pilot project of Growing Rice in Buildings, jointly conducted by Temasek Foundation Singapore and Temasek Life Sciences Research Institute. It is understood that Temasek rice, rice seedlings cultivated in greenhouses are shorter than common varieties and are suitable for growing in more crowded environments. 
It also has insect resistance and good drought tolerance, and can continue to grow without water irrigation for two weeks. Vertical farming is an ideal scenario. In addition, its growth cycle is only four months, and it can be harvested three times a year, which greatly increases rice yield. Being able to grow rice in vertical farms will undoubtedly provide a new imaginative space for solving the problem of feeding people around the world in the future. However, there is still a huge gap between ideal and reality, and all current breakthroughs only exist in the laboratory. To promote and commercialize the results obtained in the laboratory on a large scale, cost and environmental protection are the two big mountains standing on the road. At present, vertical farming has few applications in the market and its popularity is not high. The reason is that the difficulty in promoting vertical farming is not the technology, but how to reduce construction costs and operating costs. Currently, the fully enclosed artificial light plant factory is the most high-tech form of vertical agriculture. Plant factories produce crops in a closed environment. Therefore, it is necessary to build related engineering and supporting equipment including external maintenance structures, air conditioning systems, artificial light devices, multi-layer cultivation racks, nutrient solution circulation and control systems, and computer regulation and control systems. Analysis by the Qianzhan Industry Research Institute found that the cost per square meter of building a plant factory of less than 1,000 square meters, including internal decoration, equipment, and facilities, is between 15,000 and 20,000 yuan. To build a plant factory of 5,000-10,000 square meters, the cost per square meter is 8,000-10,000 yuan. To build a large plant factory with an area of more than 10,000 square meters, the construction cost will drop to less than 8,000 yuan per square meter. This is only the high initial construction cost, and the later maintenance and production and operation costs should not be underestimated. The above data are all based on calculations of dwarf crops commonly found in plant factories such as lettuce and cash crops. Staple food crops such as rice and wheat take up more space and cost more. If the commercial value of promotion is taken into account, the market value of staple food crops is far lower than that of cash crops, vegetables and fruits, etc. At a higher cost, it is difficult to produce staple foods that are relatively unsaleable and difficult to be accepted by the market at this stage. Challenges outside the lab Being able to grow rice in vertical farms will undoubtedly provide a new imaginative space for solving the problem of feeding people around the world in the future. However, there is still a huge gap between ideal and reality, and all current breakthroughs only exist in the laboratory. To promote and commercialize the results obtained in the laboratory on a large scale, cost and environmental protection are the two big mountains standing on the road. At present, vertical farming has few applications in the market and its popularity is not high. The reason is that the difficulty in promoting vertical farming is not the technology, but how to reduce construction costs and operating costs. Currently, the fully enclosed artificial light plant factory is the most high-tech form of vertical agriculture. Plant factories produce crops in a closed environment. Therefore, it is necessary to build related engineering and supporting equipment including external maintenance structures, air conditioning systems, artificial light devices, multi-layer cultivation racks, nutrient solution circulation and control systems, and computer regulation and control systems. Analysis by the Qianzhan Industry Research Institute found that the cost per square meter of building a plant factory of less than 1,000 square meters, 
including internal decoration, equipment, and facilities, is between 15,000 and 20,000 yuan. To build a plant factory of 5,000, 10,000 square meters, the cost per square meter is 8,000, 10,000 yuan. To build a large plant factory with an area of more than 10,000 square meters, the construction cost will drop to less than 8,000 yuan per square meter. This is only the high initial construction cost, and the later maintenance and production and operation costs should not be underestimated. The above data are all based on calculations of dwarf crops commonly found in plant factories such as lettuce and cash crops. Staple food crops such as rice and wheat take up more space and cost more. If the commercial value of promotion is taken into account, the market value of staple food crops is far lower than that of cash crops, vegetables and fruits, etc. At a higher cost, it is difficult to produce staple foods that are relatively unsaleable and difficult to be accepted by the market at this stage. However, a production method that represents the future of agriculture lies before us. We can't just calculate the economic accounts and measure the input-output ratio. We should also consider its strategic significance. Many pressing problems are before us, the population is increasing rapidly, people's demand for food safety is increasing sharply, land is decreasing rapidly, and the labor force engaged in agricultural production continues to decrease. Human beings need to use new ways to produce agricultural products, and vertical farming is one of the effective ways. The greater significance of its existence is that it can be used as one of the important projects to save mankind from extinction. Therefore, many laboratories and companies are actively studying vertical agriculture, how to reduce costs, increase efficiency, and expand market channels. We are also optimistic that this is not an unsolvable problem. There are many ideas on reducing energy consumption, reducing management costs, and broadening market channels. Even for the most expensive plant factory at the moment, Chinese experts have predicted that with the improvement of the entire system technology and the improvement of the luminous efficiency of LED technology, in traditional agriculture, labor costs, land costs, transportation and environmental costs are gradually rising. In 2025, the production cost of plant factories will be close to the cost of traditional agricultural production. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.